Do you want to make money with your website using Google AdSense? If that's the case, then keep watching because in this tutorial, I will show you step by step how to do that. My name is Ferdy and I'm pleased to show you what we will cover in this tutorial. I'll show you how to sign up for Google AdSense, talk about what it says in the terms and services, what to do, what not to do, and how to connect your Google AdSense account with your website. I will show you how you can accomplish all the tasks Google asks you to do for your website in order to become compliant with the terms of service. You don't want to be meant by Google. And then we will place advertisements on your website. You can let Google place ads for you or choose different kind of units that you can place anywhere in your website. I will show you how to place ads in your content automatically and how to adjust the style of the ad to match the style of your website. When everything is up and running, I show you how to activate your account by leaving your bank details and address, activate your account for payments by filling in the pin you'll receive from a letter from Google and how to add more websites. In the end, I will show you how you can read the reports and how you can link your Google AdSense account with your YouTube channel if you have one. When I go to fast for you, you can go to the settings over here in the video and change the playback speed to a slower one or you can use the left arrow on your keyboard and go back 5 seconds in the video. In the description of this video, I have timestamps, so if you want to find a certain answer or go to a specific part in the tutorial, you can click on one of those timestamps and you go directly to that part. So if you like what you have seen so far, then please like this video and feel free to subscribe for more upcoming tutorials. And now let's get started by signing up for a free Google AdSense account. So the first thing we need to do, we need to go to adsense.google.com and hit enter. So far, we're doing great. Now we click on get started. What you need is a Gmail account. If you don't have that, you need to set it up. It is free just as Google AdSense is also free. I already have a Gmail account that is not connected at all with AdSense. So I will start from scratch and I will use my website in order to create an AdSense account. I click on Ferdy Corp. That's the one I want to use. And now I need to fill in my website. If you don't have a website yet, just select over here. If you want to learn how to make a website, I have a tutorial about that. You can go to YouTube and search for how to make a website 30. And there I show you step-by-step step how you can do that. My website is https 30 corpushookcom Get more out of AdSense. Do you want to get help? No, thank you. Your payment country territory. I'm from the Netherlands. And then you need to read those terms. I did the course speed reading. Yeah. Oh, oh, did you saw that? Did you see that? You should never use past tense in a sentence twice. Have I learned? So never say, did you saw that? Then say, did you see that? Okay. I'm talking about this, but what I actually want to say, read the terms and conditions. Really important. Let me give you a few highlights. You need to be at least 18 in order to sign up for this. If you're not 18, don't sign up. You need to have a Google account. You can create a free Gmail account that will do the trick. Never violate those terms. If you do that, your account will be shut down and you do not get your money. Never, ever, never, ever click on your own advertisements. Also, never ask other people to click on your advertisement. Never do that. Don't use this on websites with adult content. Do not use it on websites containing copyrighted material. And do not create a second AdSense account if you already have one. Do not create a second one, but please read them. And when you have read them and you agree, then you can start using AdSense. Wow, that's it. That's it. No, that's not it. Of course, we need to be accepted. Now it says about payments, tell us about you and it is required. So I enter my information over here. And then you can say that you're an individual or a business. The name and address of my business. The name is Ferdy. And Anna Media. My name is Freddy Corpushook. My address is this one. Exactly. My primary contact, they already have it somehow. I can change it over here if I want to. But I'm okay with that. So I click on submit. Congratulations on your new Google AdSense account. Now we need to connect our Google AdSense account with our website. Let me show you. Two ways on how to do that. Awesome, they got my info. See how ads look on your website is optional. Connect your site to AdSense, that is required. So I click on let's go. Connect your site to AdSense, copy and paste the HTML code of your site in the head. 
So I copy this. Then I go to my website, ferdicorp.com, which refers to my website, ferdicorpzoek, but that's a stupid name to have as a YouTuber. But you know what? Even with stupid names, you can be active on YouTube. Now I need to go to my website. What I will do, I will go to themes over here. This is the easy way. It's not the best way, especially when you want to update your themes later. But right now you can go to the theme editor, give you a warning like, hey, are you sure you want to do this? Then over here at the right, we go to header.php. Then over here, I see the opening tag head. Now here's the closing tag. So below the closing tag, I paste this code. I update the file, but keep in mind when you update your theme, this code will be removed. So there are better ways, but this is the easiest way to get started right now. I can request a review. Thanks for connecting the site. Your website is now linked with Google AdSense. Well, there is a better way on how to do it. And I will show you that in a minute. Right now, I want to show you how you can let Google place ads on your website automatically. And we can explore this. So let's take a look. Google is now finding the best places for ads on your site. I don't see that many ads. So if I turn this on, look at this. There will be an ad between my header and my hero. Well, there are three in page ads, but I personally prefer also over here. This sounds so, this looks so spammy. I don't want that. So there will be an ad over here. It depends on the goal of your website. If that's the goal of your website, go ahead. But for me, I don't like it. Even here is an ad. So above the header. Wow. Hey, but you can apply it to the site and then it will happen. So let's do it for now. Let's see what happens. Changes can take up until an hour to reflect on your site. And then we can see if we start to make some money. So, so far, so good. Now let me show you the second way on how to link your AdSense account with your website. We'll use Google Sidekit for that. If I go to sites over here at the left, I see my website, furthercorpsbook.com is getting ready. If I click on it, it says, bear with us. It will take a few days, but in some cases up to two weeks, you don't need to resubmit it. Just be patient. Well, since we need to be patient, what I can do, I just showed you the relatively easy way on how to paste this code. Let's remove it right now and update the file. What I want to do, I want to use a different way, which is eventually better. So I go to plugins, add new, and we're going to install Google Sidekit. Not only great for Google AdSense, but also for Google Analytics and Google Search Console. I search for Google Sidekit and I click on install. Now, then I need to activate it. And the great thing is that I can see my revenue within my WordPress website when I use this tool. Okay. I need to start a setup or I go to Google Sidekick Kit <laughs> dashboard. And then I need to sign in with Google. And I need to sign in with the same email address, the Gmail account I used to use for AdSense, which is this one. Then I need to verify a few things. I trust Google. Great. Now I need to connect AdSense. As you see, I already connected Search Console and Analytics and PageSpeed. Now it's time for AdSense. So I click on Connect Service. Google is making sure everything is all right over here. And it is. Again, I need to log in. I'm okay with all this stuff. If you want, you can read the privacy policy in the terms of service. And now it will connect with AdSense. Looks like you're already using AdSense. Yes, Sidekit will place AdSense code on your site to connect your site. Yes. And then it says, let Sidekit place AdSense code on your site to get your site approved. Well, that's what we just did ourselves. And now Sidekit is doing it for us. In order for your site to display ads, make sure you've completed these steps in AdSense. Well, we've done that. Continue. Great. It's connected. So now we have to wait. So if I click on AdSense over here, I do not see a lot yet, a lot of statistics. 
because we need to be approved. And in order for that to be done, we need to wait and we need to make sure we do all the things we need to do, like not doing illegal stuff. You can read the privacy policy in the terms of service and then make sure that your website is in line with all the regulations of Google AdSense. While we are waiting to be accepted by Google, we better make sure that we do not violate the terms of Google. So we need to do something about the GDPR and the CCPA. That means that we need to tell people from most of the countries in Europe and from California that we place ads and cookies on our website. Again, I will show you two ways on how you can do that. Using a free WordPress plugin or I will show you how to do it from within Google AdSense itself. I have a disclaimer over here, terms of service and privacy policy. Okay, but I want to do one more thing and go to the back end to plugins, add new. And I search for GDPR and then I go to, for the one from web Tuffy, Tuffy, Tuff, Tuff, blah. install now. And we're going to use the basic version and activate it. Okay. Then we go to the settings over here, GDPR cookie consent settings. I want to go for CCPA and GDPR. This is for Europe, this is for California. Turn it on, enable it. Turn the cookie bar on. Update. So now when people go to our website for the first time, they get this area over here. They can go to the settings and accept it. So when Google checks it, we are compliant with that because if we go to the home page, it says get privacy ready. Make sure you're complying with privacy regulations like GDPR and CCPA before you start showing ads on your website. So we want to make sure when they review our website that everything is fine. Let's go to ads and then I go to Ferdy Corpsuk, click over here, edit. And now we can also adjust the GDPR and CCPA settings over here. If I go to more features, I can turn this on. And it will be turned on only for the people that live in the areas where you need to have the GDPR consent message. Turn it on. It will look like this. And then we need to have the privacy policy URL. So mine is this one. If you don't have it, I will show you in a minute how you can create one. And then I like it the way it is. And for the people from California, turn it on. And then over here, it looks a little bit weird. Do not sell my information. It looks, it looks like we're doing something wrong, like we're doing illegal stuff. and Maybe it gives people a feeling like, hey, can I trust this? So I prefer, you can also hide that message. I prefer to turn it off and use the other one, but it's up to you what you want to do. Let me close this, discard the changes. In order to comply with the terms of service from Google AdSense, we need to place in our privacy policy that we make use of advertising on our website. We will place advertisements on our website. So let me show you how to create a document like that on our website. First, let's go to google.com and search for Google AdSense privacy, privacy policy generator, privacy policy for Google AdSense terms and feeds. You need to have privacy policy. There's a video about it, etc. And over here is the privacy policy generator. So my website, I have a website. My site's HPS 30 corpushook.com. The website is name is how to make a website. Website. I personally do not use 2021 because then in a year it will be it will look all I am uh, well, depending on what you are, individual or a business. My business name is Ferdy and, and uh, media. The address of my website. Netherlands. Next step. What kind of personal information do we want to use from users? Uh, actually, not that much. This next step, people can send me an email to info at 30 Corpus Hook, not by phone. 
Yes, I want to go for all of those. I don't want to have the professional one, just the normal one. You email the rest to receive it. Very smart because then they can send me spam emails or just normal emails. Generate it. It's free. Now we can copy and paste this over here. So I go to my website. I go to the privacy policy. Edit the page. Right now I only talk about um, I use affiliate links. Now I oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. What I need to do, I need to click on the plus HTML, custom HTML, paste it. Or over here, I click on the three dots, use the code editor. And over here, I paste all this stuff. Update. View the page. And then there's this information which I could never create myself. But if you want to take it serious, I highly suggest you do take a look at finding a lawyer or someone that can fix this for you. But this is a good start. Uh, you don't want to be banned by Google because you do not have good privacy policy stuff. It's uh, for me, it's uh, I don't like this part of the tutorial, but I want to at least cover how you can generate something. So you have something and you do not get banned. You don't want to get banned. So we have to wait and I will be back with you when it is ready. And I will tell you how long it took before my account was being approved. It is now two days later. And if I go to adsense.google and I click on sign in, I see I made my first money. That means that over here at sites, my website is approved. It's ready, but there is a but. I like what? So um, to prevent severe impact on revenue, download the ads txt file and then upload it to the root level domain of each site. In this case, for the corporate. So for every website you use using AdSense, you need to place that ads.txt file in the root directory. So I go to my root directory of ferdicorpsbook.com. So over here, I am at my root directory of my website, ferdicorpsbook.com. I can download the file over here and there it goes and there it goes. So over here, I click on file upload, go to my downloads and there it is, ads.txt, open it and it is successfully uploaded. So over here it is in my root directory. So if I would go to ferdicorp forward slash ads.txt, I can see it over here. So we added the ads.txt, what is next? So I click on learn more, dismiss or action. Well, I want to take action. So I click over here and then I need to change my seller information visibility from confidential to transparent. And then I leave my business domain, only your business name, no HTTPS, and then .com or .co.uk, but no slash, no HTTPS, no www. And that's it. It will be saved automatically. Don't click over here because then you will close your account. So click on home again. So we fixed the two things they asked me. So automatically the JSON file is created because we filled in this information. And if you take a look over here from our content on our website, we get 68% of the revenue that Google gets, which is quite a lot. So when people click on an advertisement on your website and the advertiser pays one euro or one dollar, you get 68 cents of that, which is quite nice from Google. Okay, let's take a look at payment settings. I do the same name as I have on my passport. I can have my phone number over here. Save. I go to the homepage. Learn more. When they, they show that you need to fix it. Yeah, this is fixed. So it takes a while before they will check that. Again, fix now. It says it may take a few days for changes to update. If you're using another ad network, remember to add the network. So um, this is fine for me. It is ready. I'm already making money. And if I go to my website, I'm already seeing the ads. 
right now I do not really like the way how they place ads like this. And if I click somewhere, I get an ad. I don't like it. It's a little bit spammy. But for now, I just want to get. Oh, look at that. I, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, this is not what I prefer to do with my website. So I hope my visitors aren't too mad about it, too angry about it. I just wanted to show you how to get started. But we're not finished, of course. I will be back in a few days and I show you what else you can do. Let's focus more on creating ads, adjusting the automated ads and placing ad units in your website manually. So again, it is two days later and the last day we earned almost $4.50 and in total around eight euros, which is quite nice in two days. So what else we can do over here is my website. And if I scroll down, I see ads here and here. If I go to a different page, disappears. It's really spammy. So let me talk you a little bit more through what we can do with automated ads over here. I go to ads. I see an overview. And right now we use automated ads. As you see over here, ferdicorpsbook.com auto ads on page exclusions zero. We can take a look at the statistics or we can take a look at how we can change things. So I click on edit. And there are quite a few things we can do over here. An advertisement is shown on a mobile. So we need to scroll down and then we see this information. If I don't want that, I can just remove it over here. And then on a mobile, there's no ad over there. There will be an ad over here and I like it. So I leave it at that. And then there are two ads on my page on my uh, using a mobile phone. So here's one. And here is one. Well, there are three, so I don't know exactly what they mean. If I would go over here, I can do the same thing. If I see something I don't like, a spot I don't like, for instance, there can be two ads over here. I can remove one, but right now there are zero ads shown over here because one area is removed. In order to adjust those settings, let me collapse this and let me go to the ad settings, auto ads. It's turned on. And I want to optimize my existing ad units so they will look more like the style of our website. If you turn it off, they will look less like the style of your website. So I turn it on and then I want to go to add formats. I want to show in page ads, which are those over here. I want to remove one of those two. I want to remove this one because um, they were below each other. Uh, this one is okay. Do I want to match the content? Yes, I want that because then it will look like more like the style of my website. So I turn it on. Do I want to have anchor ads? Those are ads that are sticky. So if I scroll down, it will stay with us. Do I want to have ads on a wider screen? Ads appear on the screen wider than a thousand pixels like a desktop. Yes. Vignette ads. That means that when I go to a different page, and it appears after I click on it, as it says between page loads and also here, do I want to display them on the white screen? Yes. If I don't want that, I turn it off. That's how easy it is. Now, when I go to my website and I go to a different page, there are no more ads. For me, those are the most frustrating ads. Let me accept this. And load. How many? advertisements should load on your website right now it's in the middle but if i increase it there was a, a maximum of three before but right now it's not a maximum of three anymore you can have more advertisements on your website so you can maximize it but really your website will come across really spammy so depending on what you want to do on your website for my for instance my website it's helping people to to watch the right videos and to go to the right link so if people go over here to astra elementor i want to help them to go to get Elementor. So I wonder if this would help because then we'll, they will be distracted. Do I want them to be distracted? Do I want to click them over here or do I want to, and them to click over here and get some affiliate revenue or both? So that's the question you need to ask yourself. If you only want to make money with your website by Google ads, well, it's up to you, but then you can maximize it. But keep in mind, the more you maximize it or the higher the amount of ads, the more likely people are leaving your website. When you're happy with your settings, you can apply them to the site. 
and it can take a minute before they will be active. So right now, if I should go to a different page, it can still be the case that I see an advertisement in between those page loads. I also still see this one and this one. So it takes some time before the process the adjustments we have made. So what we also can do, I can turn this off. So I click over here. Add settings, auto ads, turn it off, apply to the site, apply now. So now these ads should be gone. Well, as I said, it can take some while. So it can be that I still see ads. Yes. So they will be gone soon. So what we can do, we can use add units. So I go to ads, add units, and there are four different ways to display advertisements. The most recommended one is the display ads area. So I can click over here and then we can give this a name. So let me call this sidebar. I want to have an advertisement in my sidebar. So if people go to one of my tutorials, doesn't matter which one over here at the right, I want to display an advertisement. How do I want to display them as a square or horizontal? Well, probably not because I use it in the sidebar or vertical. It will take up more space. And this one comes across to me more like an advertisement. They are both advertisements, square, vertical, but I prefer this one. So I can call this one sidebar square. And I want it to be responsive. I do not want it to be fixed because when people go to my website on a mobile, I rather have it in a different aspect ratio and stuff. I click on create and then I need to copy the code snippet. Then I go to the back end of my website or I go to widgets. Widgets look uh, quite a bit weird these days with the new version of WordPress. So I need to place them over here. So I click on the plus, search for HTML, custom HTML, paste custom HTML, update. And now when I go to any tutorial, It will appear over here. It can take some time, but it will be there. I can also place one on the top over here. And as I said before, they will change based on what people are interested in. So that's the great thing about AdSense. They will do all the stuff for you. Great. So we go to a different um, tutorial. And again, it will stay over here. Yeah, there it is. So it can be shown like that. I don't know why, why he does it like that because I said I wanted to use a cyber square. So let me take a look over here. It's called a square. So I don't know, maybe it's, it's helping me. I don't know. But what I also can do, close this. I want to go for a new one. This time I call this one blog post horizontal and random. I want to have a horizontal one. I want it to be responsive. I click on create. I get the code and I can co place this code anywhere in the website. So if I go to tutorials and I go to Bloxy theme tutorial, I can edit this with Elementor and I can place it anywhere in the website. So I go to HTML. I paste the code. I scroll down, I can place it also over here, or I can duplicate it and I drag it over here. And if I update it and I take a look, there's an advertisement over here and over here. And again, never click on your own advertisement. Please never do it. Not as a test, never. So if I go to any page web hosting and I edit this with Elementor or with Gutenberg or with whatever, as long as you place the HTML code somewhere so I can place it over here and to automatically fit this area. So that's how you can do it. But what you also can do, if I go to any blog post, if you take a look and fold, it looks the same. First the video, then you can share, then some links. If I go to a different tutorial, WooCommerce, first the video, then sharing, then this area. 
So it's a template. So if I go to the back end, I use Elementor Pro for this and I go to templates, theme builder, try the new one. And I go to single post and I edit this and I decide to place an HTML area below the share. That means that in all the blog posts below the share area, an advertisement will appear. And in that way you can automate things. And I think that's a beautiful way to display ads in your website. If you have a WordPress website, you can use an amazing plugin that enables you to distribute ads all over your website on autopilot. Let's find out how it works. Maybe you don't have Elementor Pro, but you want to place advertisements in your website. So let me go to my homepage. And I go to this blog post over here. And I want to place advertisements over here, but I don't want to do it manually on every blog post in the website. How can I do that? Well, there is a beautiful tool. I hit command and I click over here. So I go to the back end. It's free. We go to plugins, add new. And it's called Advanced Ads. There it is, more than 1,000 installations, five stars, updated four days ago, incompatible with our current version of WordPress. I click on install now, and it says it supports Google AdSense Auto Ads, Amazon Image Banners. So you can do even more than using Google AdSense. And I want to create my first ad. So I click over here. Then I want to go to my overview and I want to use the blog post horizontal random ad. I can grab the code over here, cop copy the code snippet, and then go over here. I call this one AdSense blog posts. And I want this to be an AdSense ad. I can connect it to AdSense or I can insert the AdSense code. I do that for now. And then I click on get details. So it's doing that really nice. Then I click on next. I want to add display conditions. I want to add, show it to all the posts. So I select this one. Post type is post. So on all the posts, it will be shown. That's my condition. Click on save. Where do I want to display this? Well, you can go over here to see all the options. I want to go for the content. After which paragraph? After the third one. Okay. I click on update. So now if I go to my website, I see all those here are posts. So I click over here. And after the third paragraph, an advertisement should appear. And that's the case. So it's going over the content of my website. I don't want that. How can I fix that? I scroll down and I enable this box. If responsive ads are covering something on my site. So let me refresh this. And now. So there's no risk. And then it continues. I have to say that the free version is limited in comparison with the pro version. It's not about my tool, but it's about ConvertKit. So that's what we can do. Well, if you want to display more ads, we should create a new one. Uh, you can upgrade to the pro version and you have more options, but there's also a workaround. So I can call this uh, AdSense blog post one update. Now I can go to all the ads. Actually, I want to duplicate it, but I have to make a new one, but I have to set it up once and then it will work. AdSense blog post two. It's an AdSense ad. I insert the code and get the details. I enable this next. Where do I want to display this? I want to display this on all the post types. Called post next. Then again in the content, but then not after three, but after six paragraphs, you know, after eight. Okay. So now it's visible. I click on update and then I do it one more time. AdSense blog post three. 
Let me show you how quick I can do this, how fast. Base, cut, details, enable, next. Yeah, uh -uh. product type, post type, add, post, save. Content, 12, okay, update. Nice, refresh, command shift F7, just kidding, command R. So, advertisement one after three paragraphs. Advertisement two and advertisement three. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how it works. It's making me excited. And then what we also can do, if you use a pro version of uh, certain tools for Bloxy, if you use Bloxy for instance, I can make this sticky. So when I scroll down, it sticks with us. Uh, before it was not, uh, yeah, a few years ago, it was not within the term, so you could not do that. But now you can. Man, I use uh, Bloxy Pro for that. That's a, th a theme I use, but um, if you want to know more about that, I, there's a tutorial about it. YouTube search for affiliate marketing 30. And then it is the one with the glasses <laughs> three weeks ago. And then at the end of my six hour tutorial, I show you how you can apply that, but I'm happy. So um, this is how you can do it all on automatic pilot using free tools and then there are more ways on how to display ads. And that's what I want to show you. Now, I personally do not use this, but I want this tutorial to be complete. So that one is in feed ads. Uh, let me tell you that in article ads, we worked already with that. This is how I prefer to do that. Uh, you can do something else, but let me show you the native in feed ads. What it actually does, I can do two things. I can show one of my pages. I can go to the home page, and I see this area over here, for instance. I can place an ad in between this, and then it will try to match the style. Well, this is maybe not the best example. This is not, it's it's great for if you have a news website. So look at this. This is the, the spammiest uh, website of the Netherlands. Look at this, one, two. Oh, they're having a good day. Normally, this yeah, three. It's spammed like crazy. What you can do using um, in-feed ads, you can place an advertisement over here. So what you see, image, title, text. Image, title, text. But this is an advertisement. So it looks like it is in the same style. So people tend to click on it more. But uh, as I said, my website is not really suitable for that. I have my tutorials page, which is really ugly. I should definitely work on that. So I could try it over here, but it just will not look the same because uh, it is a little bit limited. So let me show you. Um, okay, let me let me use this page. I don't know if I can use it, but let's just see if I can do that. I think not, but let's try it. Scan the page. I hope I do not get banned for this. <laughs> As you found out by now, I'm a little bit afraid of getting banned. Because I know someone really personally uh, to whom it happened in 2007 because he clicked on his own ads. He had two brothers, two sisters. They all had a computer in their house. And he went to his own website and clicked on all the ads on all the computers, all his brothers and sisters and father and mother. Then he got $50. He was really happy. He got the pin and then he got banned for life. And that guy found a way. Okay, enough about that. So he's scanning the website and then over here, he, he recognizes this and he can use this as an advertisement. So I can select an area, this one for instance, or let's, let's do this one also. Look at this image, text, text, image, text, text. So if I click on next, I get this code. I can adjust it. I can give this a name. I can save it and get the code and then I can place it within my website on that place. Really nice way. Or you can start from scratch. So let's uh, do this next and then, and then you can also adjust the size, change the name. You can change the font. So if your font is Verdana, you can use Verdana. So you can create something in the style of your website, place it in between it using advanced ads for instance, and then maybe the pro version. And then that way you can monetize your website even further because people are 
tending not to click on advertisements when they see it's an advertisement unless they're interested in what you have to offer. But when it's matching the content of your website, then it's so easy for me to click over here because it looks like, hey, nice car. Let's click on it. And it's from Google, as you see over here. And since I don't want to do clicks on things which I do not buy, I feel obligated to buy this car. So, um, okay, let's configure this one and let's buy it. And then I can tell my wife, yeah, I had to do it. <laughs> I had no choice. I clicked on the advertisement. So, okay. So I will be back with you and I will show you my car. No, I will not. Sorry, Mercedes. You know what? To make it up, I will buy a Mercedes later on when I have money. Yeah. So I need to place more ads on my website to make more money so I can buy that. Okay. That is what you can do, ladies and gentlemen. This is almost the same thing. Again, you can adjust it, give it a name, change the style. You can also make it ugly if you want to. But um, that's all up to you. And then the last one, the search engine is really nice. If you have a search bar in your website, for instance, over here, and people search for something, you can decide that the search result page will show a few advertisements first. And when people click on that, they go to a different website and you make money. So let's create it. Uh, let's call this search bar. Create. Copy and paste the code between the body tags of your pages. Okay. So I can go to a random page, for instance, the random homepage, add it with Elementor. It needs to be within the body tag while everything you see in this page, which is displayed is within the body tag. So I just can find an HTML place uh, tag and drag it over here, paste it. Or I can drag it up or I can place it in the header. So if I would place it over here, Really ugly, in my opinion. I can search for WordPress tutorial search. And what you see over here can be an advertisement. When people click on it, you get money. So if I search over here on make money online, normally there are a lot of advertisements around that subject. Ads can be displayed over here. And when people click on that, you make money. Well, I just want to show you that it is possible. And I want to show you that I will delete it because I don't want to use it. But I want this tutorial to be complete. I don't want you to be like, okay, it just showed a few things and that's it. So besides that, there are global settings. The size and type of the advertisement. You can let Google optimize the size of your mobile ads. Well, that's what I wanted to turn on. And you can do it per site. I already have this site. Let me see if it's already activated. No, not yet. So I can have a lot of websites. Make sure that I comply with all the things. They ask me all the terms and conditions. And then I can make a lot of money. If you have a YouTube channel and you want to link AdSense with YouTube, you need to have more than 4,000 watch hours. So people need to watch more than a total of 4,000 hours on your videos. And you need to have more than 1,000 subscribers. If you have that, let me show you how you can link your YouTube channel with Google AdSense so you can make money with your YouTube channel. In order to do it, let's go to youtube.com. Then I go to my account that I want to enable for monetization. I go to the YouTube studio. If I take a look at my content, I'm not really active over here. So I don't get a lot of views. Let me go to monetization. And I have more than a thousand subscribers. That's what I need. I need to have two step verification. That's what I have. I don't have any strike, but I only have 32 public watch hours in the latest year. And it needs to be at least 4,000. So I'm not eligible. If you are more than a thousand subscribers, more than 4,000 watch hours, two step verification and no strikes, you can click over here on apply. When you do that, you see three steps you need to take. The first step. You need to review the partner program terms and accept them. When you've done that, it gets a check mark. Then the second one, you need to link it with your current AdSense account. Log in, make sure it is connected. 
And then the third step is not up to you, but you need to be reviewed. And that's how you can link it. Unfortunately, I don't have a YouTube channel at this moment that is not monetized yet. But this channel is monetized and I can make money over here through video advertising, merchandise, selling stuff, membership. So we can give people extra information, extra videos, extra stuff when they become a paid member. You can work with super so people get privileges when they pay. You can promote other people's stuff, products. And you can start something that people can give to you or to a certain cause you have in mind. So I personally only use this one. That's a great way to earn a living if you make good videos. So by now it can be that you already have made some money. Let's take a look at the report so we can understand what is happening on our websites. So let's start with the homepage. This is really easy. This is what we have made so far today. Seven cents why I turn off auto ads and now click less on my ads because there are less ads in my website yesterday we had six cents the six cents really nice movie ever saw it the last seven days we made around eight euros and this month also around eight euros you'll see comparisons with last month with the last week previous seven days so that's what you can see basic metrics here's the balance if a month is over and you made money over here you will see what you earned last month and you'll also see when it will be paid out over here we see what we have made last week per day but i can also dismiss this what i can do i can click on view more and then we see more information about the statistics statistics of our website i want to view the announcements and then hope this area will be gone well it's not here we see our performance we have 1.2 thousand page views the page rpm is the revenue per thousand impressions so if your ads are shown thousand times to people this is the average you will make there have been 1350 impressions that means that the ad is shown these amount of times and from those impressions 10 times people clicked the average cost per click what i earn per click is 84 cents which is a lot in my opinion an average click through rate that is from the 100 people almost one clicks so one in the hundred people clicks on my link if this will be one percent or one in the 120 impressions is an impression that people click on here we see the ad units the cyber square earned us five cents this is our best performing website we see which country is making us a lot of most money the netherlands Woo. also here you see it like that and here we see which ad unit is performing the best. Platforms, a lot of people are on a desktop and a few on a mobile phone. Really nice. And we can go to reports to see even more. Here you see a little bit more information. You can see it based on the sites. And then the last seven days or the last 30 days. And you see there's only one site performing because it's the only active site I have. And again, I see that information over here, impressions rpm and here you see an explanation so you get a little bit more information at the reports area 10 clicks which made us 8 euro 40 which is around 10 dollars then over here which platform is helping us the most well the most people are from a desktop and other people are from a high-end mobile device a smartphone again the countries the netherlands france You see also the amount of impressions, etc. So here you see more information per ad unit. So you see what's working, what's not working. Again, the platforms. We don't have products. I actually don't use this. I just focus on creating good content. But uh, in the next part, we'll take a look at optimization. If you could make more money with Google AdSense, would you want that? Of course you want that. So let me show you how you can optimize your ads for better conversions. Let's go to optimization. And as I said before, I turned off auto ads. So right now it says you have no opportunities right now. Check back later for new opportunities. In the meantime, we can go to experiments and we can have two type of experiments. Blocking controls. So we can decide what we want to show, what kind of ads we want to show on our website and see what is performing better. And in that way, optimize the ads on our website. So I create an experiment experiment and it's called blocking controls experiment. And then I can choose something. I want to go for 
general ad categories. And then I want to see what I want to allow and what I do not want to allow. So if I block a few things, and I click on done, it will automatically choose a winner. And what it will do, it will see if the advertisements in the area of arts and entertainment are performing well or not. If they are not, they will not be shown that much anymore. If they are, they will be shown more. And that way we can create a winner and optimize our ads. That's the first type we can do. Then we go to the next one. New experiment, auto ads. For Ferdy Korpsuk, it will probably run better. And then I can choose different experiments. So I can say I want to turn off anchor ads, but I want to turn on vignette ads. And in that way, we can see what are the best settings. I can turn off matched content and then to experiment. Hey, is it performing better than when we have matched content? So I want to turn off vignette ads. Those are ads that when people click on an area in the page, that ad will appear. Then I want to start the experiment. Auto ads experiment for the corpse will come automatically choose a winner. So run the experiment. And by the way, when it comes to split testing in life, except for marriage, keep with your stick with your current partner. It's my advice. But split testing is amazing. I do it even with thumbnails. I can cho choose two different thumbnails, see which one is performing better than choose that one. I do it with uh, sending emails, two different kinds of titles, which one is performing better. And I choose that one split testing is an amazing thing in life and it can help you to serve more people and make more money at the same time, which is amazing. So what if we want to add another site, we go to sites add another site and I can say HTTPS passive income with 30.com a website I made. I have a tutorial about it. It's an affiliate marketing website. I showed you how to create a website, how to create blog posts. So if you search for affiliate marketing 30, search for a six hour tutorial over here and there I will show you step by step how you can create a website like that. And now I want to apply it for AdSense. So I click on save and continue. If you psych it, do the same thing again. So uh, let me go to passive income with 30.com. And then also make sure, of course, you apply the same steps as before with GDPR stuff. I have SiteKit already. So I go to settings, connect more services, AdSense, and then again, I need to use this one. Continue. Now I can do the same thing, create automated advertisements. That's uh, connected as you see, request, request a review. Well, it will probably see it immediately. Great. So I go to sites and now I need to wait again. When you reach $50 or 50 euros, you will be asked to fill in your bank details and your address. Google will send you an envelope with a six digit pin in order to confirm your address. When you have done that, your account is completely active and you will be able to receive money. You will get an email from Google AdSense saying, Hey, we sent a pin to your address and you can see it over here. And it will take between two and four weeks before you will receive that envelope with a pin of six digits. When you received it, click on verify over here and then fill in that pin. And when you have done that, your account is activated and you can start to receive money from Google AdSense. So when you are able to receive money, how does it work? If you earn a thousand dollars between the first and the 31st of January, you will receive that money on your bank account around the 22nd of February. That's a month later, which is really nice. In my opinion, you need to make at least $70 in order to get paid. If you do not reach $70 in one month, but you reach $50, you do not get paid yet. 
But if you a month later, again, make $50, that's a total of $100, then you will receive the money next month, $100. When you apply everything I teach in this tutorial, you will have your AdSense account on autopilot. You can focus on creating valuable content. I hope this tutorial was really helpful for you. I did my best to cover everything and I wish you the best of luck with your website, with creating valuable content, making a lot of money on autopilot using Google AdSense. And again, never click on your own advertisements and focus on helping other people. Yes, that's the most important thing. When you do that, people will come to your website and they will probably click on your ads. You'll probably make some money with it and then you can Say goodbye to your job and then you can focus more on writing content, hiring people that write content for you, then build an imperium and make a lot of money and make the world a better place by doing good things with the money you've made through Google AdSense. Yes, that's how things can go. Bye bye. And uh, if you haven't done so, please like this video and subscribe for more upcoming WordPress related tutorials. And this is what I've said already so much time. So I, I, I talk on autopilot. Yes. Bye.